Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor of Rock Valley Christian Church, here with today's prayer challenge, and it comes to us from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, beginning in verse 16, where it says, I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. Now these are really powerful verses to help us understand the difference between a walk in the Spirit of God versus a walk according to the flesh. Ultimately, all of us have a decision to make in life, and that is this. Will we follow God or will we go our own ways? And when we look in these verses in Galatians chapter 5, they're giving us a secret about how to overcome our flesh, how to overcome sin in our lives, and it comes not by just trying to put one away, but rather fill the vacuum of life with how do we live and what do we focus on? And so God is saying that when we focus on walking in the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Because if we're walking in the Spirit, we can't be walking in the flesh. And frankly, if we're walking in the flesh, we're not walking in the Spirit. So because these ways are contrary to one another, God wants us to see that if we're focusing on walking in the Spirit, we will not be doing the things in the flesh that our flesh would want to do. And so now we have a remedy to the thing that plagues us, and that is the works of the flesh. God wants us to put off the things of our flesh, whether it's idolatry or adultery, unfaithfulness, greed, covetousness, all the things that come into this world, that come through our flesh, that basically make the world an unpleasant place to live. Because ultimately, all the things that our flesh desires ultimately ends up to us making decisions, trying to obtain for ourselves without consideration of others, and people get hurt. But God's way of walking in the Spirit is based on a way of love and joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, kindness, faithfulness, meekness, and self-control. And when you think about a, a way like this, God says, when you're walking in the Spirit, there's no law against that. We should all be able to see that God's way is a perfect way that no one should be against because it's built on principles that stand the test of eternity, that can be repeated continually because they don't bring harm or hurt to any other person. And so God says, walk in the Spirit and you will not uh, fulfill the lusts of the flesh. And that is how we want to live today. And so the prayer challenge is to go in prayer to God and ask Him to make this verse a reality in our lives, to help us to walk in the Spirit, to help us to be obedient to God today, to be led by the Spirit, to be guided by the Spirit, because we don't want to fulfill the lusts of the flesh. We want to give our lives over to God and we want to be instruments of righteousness in His hands, not only to have a relationship with Him, but to love and be considerate of our neighbor and to demonstrate the love of God wherever we go. Let's pray.